In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the most valuable skills you can learn as a drummer. This is the ability to play any sticking pattern while being capable of speaking fluently at the same time. Take this pattern as an example. Right, 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 left, right, left, left, left. It's simple and everybody can play this. Now, can you speak freely while you play? If you've never practiced this before, the answer most likely is no. And if you can't even do this while playing doubles or paradiddles, you have no idea what you're missing out. This method will fix your timing issues and will expand your creativity. You'll be able to play faster and without any tension. Let me explain how this works. If you have to actively think about the pattern you're playing, it's like a computer buffering. Your performance will never be seamless. In contrast, if you've memorized the pattern so well that you no longer need to think about it when playing, now you allow yourself to think in terms of melody instead of thinking in terms of mathematical patterns. So for example, this pattern right here, while it's play being played almost in automatic mode, I can decide to create a melody by accenting specific notes. So why not accenting beats 1 and the A of 1? And this is a melody I get from that. Pa, 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 pa. The method consists of three simple steps. The first one is to play the pattern repeatedly at different tempos and for a long time. The goal is to get so familiar with it that you no longer have to think about it when playing. The second step is to incorporate your voice by counting out loud different subdivisions. So when we get to our practice session today, we're going to count 16th notes, 8th notes and quarter notes. This step is crucial to fix timing since you want your voice and your hands to be completely synchronized, meaning that your voice has to land exactly with the corresponding stroke. And finally, once we can do those uh, steps, the third one is going to be to start thinking in terms of melody, meaning that we're going to substitute the counting for a melody that we're going to sing. I know this part may seem a little bit silly at first, but it is very very important so something i like to do is i like to sing ta for accents two for ghost notes this might be a little bit confusing at first you might confuse the ta with the right hand or the two with the left hand or maybe you'll be singing more notes than you're playing so it is very important that all of this is flawless if you want to be able to speak over the pattern so if i go back and use the same uh, pattern i used previously where I accent beat one and the A of one, it would sound like this. All right, so moving on to today's practice plan, we are going to play three three minute rounds for each step, meaning that in total, we're going to play nine rounds for about 27 minutes. I'd say this is probably the bare minimum Honestly, the more you do this, the better. So feel free to add more rounds or play longer rounds, five minute, 10 minute rounds. Anything that will get you more repetitions is worth it. And one last piece of advice, especially if you're new to this, take this really, really slow. Don't even focus about going fast. This is all about accuracy and developing coordination. In step one, we're gonna play the first round at 30 beats per minute. This is very slow but at the same time it really gives you time to think about everything you're doing it's important that you are focused here the second round we're going to play at 50 beats per minute which is going to be our medium tempo and then round three we're going to play 80 beats per minute in step two we're going to add the count so when we play at 30 beats per minute we're going to count 16th notes when we play at 50 beats per minute we're going to count eighth notes and when we play at 80 beats per minute we're going to count quarter notes and in the third step, instead of playing one pattern at three different tempos, which absolutely you can do, you can modify this to, for this to become your own practice plan. But instead, I picked three different patterns that I called A, B, and C. And we're going to play each one at our medium tempo, that is 50 beats per minute. Of course, you can slow it down as you see it necessary, or you can also change the accent pattern to something simpler if this just doesn't make sense at first. What's important is that you start associating your melodic voice to your melodic pattern so that both your head and your hands are in the same page. 
To get through this practice, I'm going to use a website that I specifically designed for this purpose. You can access it for free at drummerlab.com. You can go to the lab, this tab right here, and you can either type the pattern yourself, right, 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 left, right, left, left, left. I decided to go on the snare and then we won't need beats three and four, so I can get rid of them here. Then you can control your tempo and then of course you can control how much time you've been playing for. In this case, we're gonna go for three minutes so you can stop once you get two, three minutes or even better, if you have a premium account, you will have access to all these courses. There's more coming. I'm really working really hard on this to add more and specifically the building block section, which, which corresponds to the library of all the possible patterns uh, you can imagine. In this case, we're going to go to the two block combination, 16th notes, snare drum, meaning that there's not going to be any kicks here and Two block combinations is just because it's a right, 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 left combined with the right, left, left, left. And you can see that it's organized here in categories. The one we're looking for is A, 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 B, which corresponds to either right, 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 left or left, 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 right. So all the patterns, all the combinations to start with that specific one, you're going to find them here. And now all you have to do is find the one that has right, left, left, left. So if you scroll down, you're going to see that it's number 78. So... What's really cool about the premium account as well is that you can keep track of your practice time. So by accessing this, you'll see all your practice logs here. This is the last time I, I practice. I practice on Monday. You can see all the rounds, how long I played and what tempo. This information is very, very valuable. So if you don't have the premium account, it's fine. I suggest a notebook or something. You're keeping track about these results here. Keep in mind that this project of mine is very new as of today. So I'm already working on adding some more features like uh, maybe a practice journal here where you can take some notes and many other features. Something that you can already do here is by accessing the toolbars, you can edit this pattern and pretty much get it to what we want to do right now. You can flam some notes, you can also do ghost notes, which is what I'm going to do. This is going to give me the freedom to accent the notes that I specifically want to accent later. So I'm going to put these all as ghost notes. And now the last thing we have to do before we get started is set this up at 30 beats per minute. And now we're ready to get started. Like I said, this project of mine is very new. I'm working really hard on it. So your feedback and your support would mean the world to me. So let's go ahead, let's grab our sticks. And now this time, let's get to work.
One E and a two E and a one and a two E and a one E and a two E and a and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a E and a two
All right, so you're probably feeling exhausted by now. And this is actually pretty hard to do. This took me a while to get it to this point. So if you struggled, if you struggled with it and you had to stop, it's all good. What matters here is the repetition, not how well the, you played it. So make sure you come back tomorrow or you, can, or you come back again later today and you repeat this. You repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. Repetition is the key if you went through the whole thing. I hope you see how much your mind plays a role in what you're playing. This particular pattern I just started practicing about four or five days ago, so it's still really fresh, but I've already done this with other patterns. And what, you'll be, what you're going to be able to do is that now you can, just like when you speak, that you think and you speak pretty much at the same time, you're gonna be able to do the same thing. This is a pattern I've been working on for a long time. Right, left, left, right, right, left. So now I'm pretty fluent with it. Ba, 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 So that was completely improvised, but I, I took it to a point now where my voice and my hands react at the same time. So now I can move faster than I think. And that's exactly where I'm going. I want to take this particular pattern. And it's not the pattern that matters. It's more the skill. It's developing the skill. So once again, very important that you come back to this every day. And not only that, then you can do, then you can do the same. If we go back to the courses here, you can do this with so many other patterns. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. You can do the same with left, right, right, left, left, uh, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, right. There is so, so much to pick from here. If you want to add the kick, it's the exact same process. And we're just now adding a third variable. So you see that now there's so much more going on here. There's hundreds and hundreds of patterns. If you have any question, please write them in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. And if you're more curious about how Drummer Lab works, how you can use this in your practice routine, or even if you're instructing people, how you can use this for, for lessons, feel free to um, contact me directly at support at drummerlab.com. I'll be happy to answer all your inquiries. Uh, this is once again a new project of mine. There's going to be so much more courses, so much more videos. Every day I'm working on this, so once again your support would mean anything to me. If you can just uh, take a look at the website, give me some feedback, I'll really appreciate that. Other than that, I hope this practice wasn't uh, too heavy. I know it can feel like that at times, but I beg you, you have to come back and try this every day. It gets easier. Not only that, it will also make you feel like you're lighter, like you're playing without tension. It really, really works. This is one of the most valuable things I've learned, and I hope you can say the same in a few days. So I hope you enjoy the video, and I will see you next time.